hello there so welcome you again to the tkp gate classes and uh, this is the third lecture on pd or the partial differential equations and we are going to solve the previous year gate uh, gate questions okay on pd okay so before proceeding to uh, the questions so i have discussed about the wave equation and the heat equation and laplace equation and the solution structure uh, there is related to the fourier series and we are going to find the fourier series uh, or the fourier coefficients to get the solution of those uh, special pds okay so i have to i have given you the expressions in previous class uh, it will not be justified if i will not solve any kind of questions related to the to those equations okay so let's get started with that and then we'll move to the previous year questions okay so first of all we'll go for the wave equation wave equation so here what we will take we will assume a vibrating string with initial deflection as triangular okay triangular and the initial velocity as zero as zero okay so i have told you in previous class that we will use a uh, elastic string okay or perfectly elastic string and which is fastened fastened at both ends okay or i'll say your fastened in both ends which will find you the boundary conditions as zero at x equals to zero okay and x equals to L, you all know this. Okay. Now the wave equation is your do square u by do t squared equals to c squared do square u by do x squared. Okay. And the initial deflection we use to assume it as your u at x zero. Okay. Is f of x. Okay. Let us consider this as f of x is triangular. That means I will assume x. If your x Lying between zero to l by two, okay, and your l minus x if your x lying between l by two to l, okay. So this is a piecewise continuous function. That means at up to l by two, it is linear as your it has a what the positive slope as x and your l by two to l. So this is your Okay, so this is a triangular deflection. Uh, triangular deflection we have taken. So from zero to L, we have this is the elastic string. Okay, and it is given your do u by do t. Okay, that means the initial velocity. Initially, the velocity is zero. Okay, and the other conditions you know that the boundary conditions. Okay, so the solution structure here we have your u, which is a function of x and t. Is written as an infinite series as your sum of n running from one to infinity, b n cos of lambda n t, okay, plus c n sine of lambda n t, okay. This is a function of <coughs> the function g, whatever we have got, okay, and this then your sine n pi x by l, okay, where n is a positive integer. Okay, and from this condition, we know that this is g of x. I have explained you in previous class, okay, or the previous lecture. So if your g is zero, then your we know that your c n is dependent on this. So since here we'll get your c n equals to zero, and this term will be vanished. Okay, so this will be going to zero, right? So the only thing we have to determine is your b n, right? So b n, where I write to write. So b n is what? Two by l, okay. As the function is uh, what, <coughs> from zero to l by two is x, and from uh, l by two to l is uh, l minus x. So I have to split it into two different integrals as your zero to l by two first, okay. So x times sine n pi x by l, okay. And the next integral is from your l by two to l, okay. 
and we know that that is your L minus X sine n pi x by l okay so now let's find the integral of this uh, different uh, integrals okay two different integrals so here we are going to use the integration by words okay so the shortcut is that we have an algebraic function here and an uh, trigonometric function or an exponential function then what you'll use first of all you take the i'll go for the shortcut here so first you assume the algebraic function as the first function and the trigonometric function which will be integrated throughout okay so we know that the so here first of all you have to derive or the differentiate with respect to x and here you have to integrate with respect to x okay because in integration by parts we are going to use the eyelid rule okay we know that All right so by deriving this i'll get one and here i'll get your minus l by n pi cos of n pi x by l okay and zero then your minus l squared by n squared pi squared and your sine of n pi x by l okay so the then the next thing is that we have to change the signs so this is positive then your negative then your positive so accordingly it will just move positive negative positive and negative okay and you do the cross multiplication okay this is one of the shortcut to find the integration by parts similarly for this one i'll get here l minus x okay and i'm not going to write the second row you just uh, note it down okay okay for your convenience let me write n pi x by l okay so here i'll get your minus l by n pi cos of n pi x by l then i'll get your minus l squared by n squared pi squared sin of n pi x by l okay so this one is minus 1 0 and the change of sign here positive negative and positive and you do the cross multiplication to get the integration by parts okay so now let's go to the next piece for the solution for the first integral i'll write it as your 2 by l okay and uh, i'll get x times or minus l times x divided by n pi and your cos n pi x by l okay then i think negative l squared by n squared pi squared negative or positive i think n squared pi squared and sin n pi x by l okay and the limits from your 0 to l by 2 okay then plus let me check minus l x by n pi cos this and plus this n squared pi squared. okay then your l minus x the negative is there let me just consider consider it as your x minus l okay <coughs> so i'll get your x minus l and l by n pi cos n pi x by l so this is x not c okay then your negative l squared by n squared pi squared and your sin of n pi x by l okay and the limit from your l by 2 to l okay so this is the entire term we have okay so let me check again x minus l negative negative and negative i'll get negative while square this okay so now let's substitute the limits here so by substituting the limits here i'll get your in the lower limit this is 0 and 0 okay so for the upper limit i will have the non zero value for the first integral okay so i'll get your minus l squared by 2 n pi and your cos of n pi by 2 okay then plus l squared by n squared by squared okay L squared by square pi squared is it okay? Is it okay? So then your sine of n pi by two, okay? Then your plus. So I do keep it as this. And for the lower limit, this is zero. For the upper limit here, this is L minus L is zero, and here L L L L will be cancelled. So for the upper limit, this is zero. So for the lower limit, I will take the negative sign here. So I'll get your negative. L square by 
2 n pi okay then your cosine of n pi by 2 okay then your negative of l squared n squared l squared by n squared pi squared I'll get your sine of n pi by 2 okay <coughs> so here this term and this term will be cancelled so you'll get your 2 times so 4 l by n squared pi squared and your sine of n pi by 2 okay so which have two different values so this is an oscillating function you know that for n equal n equals to 1 5 9 you'll get the positive one and uh, for 3 7 and 8 3 7 11 you'll get the negative one okay so here you'll get your minus 4 by 4 l by n squared pi squared if you're sorry plus if n equals to 1 5 9 so on okay and negative 4 l by n squared pi squared if your n equals to 3 7 11 like that okay right for the even values these are all zero okay the term the terms will be vanished okay now the solution u which is a function of x and t will be 4 l by pi squared I will just take common from each of the term so I will get your 1 by 1 squared first if I will take n equals to 1 so next we have the cosine of lambda n is your n pi c that means your pi c by l pi c by l ok is it cosine of pi c by l t ok then your n is taken as 1 that means you will get your pi x by l ok then the negative 1 by 3 squared ok because n equals to 3 will the negative ok you will get negative so you will get your cos of 3 pi c by l t and your sin of 3 pi x by l ok plus so on ok so this is the <coughs> infinite series which will uh, satisfy the uh, given wave equation ok where your initial deflection is triangular and the initial velocity is 0 similarly we can go for the heat equation let me go to the heat equation and what is the, the initial temperature we are providing to the finite bar will be taken as your uh, triangular ok so for the heat equation here what you will do you consider initial temperature provided to the bar bar as triangular ok as you have taken here ok so what I have told you that if I will take a finite bar ok which is insulated at both the ends so this is a uh, uniform rod or it has the cross section a uniform cross section ok so this is a finite bar and we have the insulated in both the ends that means which will find you the boundary conditions ok at both ends and the solution structure here is your u which is a function of x and t is your sum of n running from your 1 to infinity ok b n sin n pi x by l ok and e to the power minus lambda n squared t ok and n is definitely the positive integers ok 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that ok so as we have taken we have already found this what this b n or the Fourier coefficients I will consider this one to find the solution directly ok so these are the what the Fourier the positive integers ok I will write here properly positive integers ok so let us go to the next piece for the solution of this so u of x t for the heat equation for the triangular wave initial uh, triangular uh, initial temperature ok so you will get your 4 l by pi squared 1 by 1 squared ok 
then your sign of n pi x by l, l is uh, n is taken as 1 and the exponential of minus of pi c by l squared and t okay so this is the first term then your 1 minus 1 by 3 squared sin of 3 pi x by l okay and the exponential of minus 3 pi c by l squared times t okay so accordingly you will get a infinite series okay because your 4, 4 l by pi squared this is common from each of the term okay so now your assignment is to find the solution of here i'll write the assignment as your find the solution of laplace equation using the same criteria that means the triangular uh, uh, triangular low uh, temperature we are providing or the triangular initial temperature on this point okay on this is and the all other is are your zero that we know okay and here we are taking the triangular initial temperature okay So this is along x and this is your y okay so for the rectangular plate for the steady state or the steady heat flow we know that we are getting the laplace equation okay so now let's go to the solutions of other previous year questions oh sorry so this is a question on what do i say oh uh, the one dimensional heat equation uh, heat heat conduction partial differential equation this one is what this is parabolic i have already told you the number of boundary conditions required to solve a differential equation of this form this is the laplace equation okay. which will find you the steady state heat flow in a in a rectangular plate okay so because the steady state your the heat flow is independent of time and you'll get dou u by dou t or dou phi by dou t equals to zero for the steady state heat flow i'll write okay for the steady state heat flow okay so this is your heat flow you'll get it as zero so it doesn't need any time depend it is not depending on time so it doesn't have any initial conditions okay so you'll get your four boundary conditions related to your x and y okay and uh, zero initial condition if it is asked you to the number of initial conditions required to solve this differential equation is zero okay then the partial differential equation this uh, equation uh, dou square phi by dou x squared plus dou square phi by dou y squared plus the first partial terms equals to zero has degree what the highest partial derivative term is your second uh, second order so you will get the order two so b and c are cancelled so i think i have solved this one and there is no power or the higher power of this higher partial derivatives okay or the highest partial derivatives we have so you have the degree one and order two okay so the blessius equation this one the the these are the ordinary derivative or ordinary differential equation of course d q f by d eta q plus f by 2 and d square f by d a eta square equals to what okay if i will consider this as x so this is generally what it has a term of f times those uh, f times the second uh, second order derivative of f with respect to eta so that's why this is a non-linear differential equation and its order is 3 okay so when you will get uh, the linear when the all the terms whatever the unknowns or the their derivatives this would be individually placed or uh, those are all free in the equation okay so that means this is a linear equation if your dou q wave uh, sorry uh, the third third order derivative of f with respect to eta plus d, uh, d square f by d eta squared plus f by 2 is 0 then this is linear okay here you have a term like your f times this one that's why this is a linear ordinary differential equation you have to remember this the function and its uh, derivative this should be individually placed in the given uh, differential equation then only you will see that that is lin linear okay then the next part this is uh, this came in the gate 2008 gate 2008 for the mechanical okay f is given as an exponential function okay 
not the exponential but it has the exponent okay y to the power x what is the second partial with respect to x and y at x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 okay so if this kind of equation is given okay so first of all you have to take the ln in both the side ln of f is what x times the ln of y okay so if i'll take the first partial derivative with respect to x so what i'll get 1 by f as per the chain rule i'll have to differentiate again with respect to x so this equals to what ln of y so that means what do f by do x equals to f ln of y okay so i have verified that we do need to find the first or the first partial with respect to y also so let's find the from this one i will get i am getting okay do f 1 by f and do f by do y so this equals to x by y okay so that means do f by do y is the function times your x by y okay so now let's find the uh, so now what i'll do for the easier, easier computation i have to take the second part uh, the partial of this one with respect to y so do square f by do x to y is what do by do y and your f ln y okay so what i'm supposed to get here your f times 1 by y plus ln y and your do f by do y i've told you that i'm going to need this so this is your f by y plus ln y and f times x by y so this is x sorry okay so now i'll consider taking f by y common from both the terms i'll get 1 plus x ln y okay and at the point x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 we are going to find okay so let us consider f as your y equals to y to the power x so here i'll get your 1 to the power 2 is 1 1 by 1 and 1 plus ln 1 is 0 so we'll get here 1 okay so the c is the answer okay now we'll go for the this set of questions we have the type of differential equation the type of the partial differential equation this one do a by do t equals to do square a by do x squared so this is parabolic because this is a heat equation i have already told you that do u by do t equals to do square u by do x squared okay irrespective of u u is definitely dependent on your x and uh, x and t okay so here it is given as f so f is the heat or the temperature going through that uh, rod or the bar or the finite bar okay so consider a function u which depends on the position x and time t the partial differential equation the pd this is known as what this is the heat equation okay this came in mechanical in 2018 so be a bit careful while solving this kind of questions okay then the type the type of pd this one i have already solved in the first lecture here okay in the first lecture so this is this is hyperbolic okay still i am going to remember uh, recall you that your b squared minus 4 ac which is your 9 minus 4 equals to 5 greater than 0 okay so that's why you're getting the hyperbolic okay if this equals to 0 you'll get parabolic if this is less than 0 you'll get the elliptic okay so 140 to this one this question came in the git in 2019 for the electrical okay so do square u by do t squared minus c squared do square u by do x squared plus do x by u by or the second partial with respect to y equals to 0 so let me rearrange this term okay so do uh, square or the rearrange the terms of this differential equation okay so c squared times do square u by do x squared plus do square u by do y squared so basically we know the differential equation up to this one okay that means the first term and the second term will be arising for the two dimensional wave equation we know that do square u by do t squared equals to c squared and do square u by do x squared so this term uh, this equation will be referring to the one dimensional heat, uh, sorry one dimensional wave equation so this is the pd related to here or the partial differential equation of a vibrating membrane okay which is in th two dimension and uh, this is what i'll say a two dimensional wave equation okay 
so this is a wave equation N uh, not a laplace equation laplace equation means what this will be zero and it is given i forgot to tell you this this c is non zero that means this cannot be zero this is not referring to the laplace equation neither uh, neither uh, laplace equation nor the heat equation and uh, definitely not the poisson equation in the poisson equation this will be a function of uh, x or t not the partials okay then this question is not related to partial differential equation but uh, i'll tell you this is related to the partial differentiation okay so if h is a homogeneous function of degree n degree n then x do h by do x plus y do h by do y equals to n h okay so this is definitely true this is related to euler's theorem okay theorem for homogeneous function okay homogeneous function of degree n okay so to verify uh, what is the homogeneous function i'll tell you if your n equals to 3 then what i can say that the function f of x y i can assume it as your x cubed plus x squared y plus y cubed let us say this that means each of the term has the same degree first second is 3 and the third term is has also the uh, degree 3 related to your x and y definitely okay so the other notations here i can write it as here if i will take x cubed common i will get a function of x by or y by x okay okay then if i will consider y to the power y cubed common so i'll get a different function of uh, a function of your x by y okay so these are different notation for a homogeneous function so it says that your x times 2f by 2x or the euler's theorem says that plus y times 2f by 2y equals to 3 times f specifically for this one okay so here the degree is n so here what we write this is a degree times the given function h okay so that's why for the from the euler's theorem i can verify that your this statement is true okay not false you solve this one because this is related to the euler's theorem i am not going to solve this okay next one this is uh, what do i say z is given as your xy and ln of xy okay so that means the which of the following is true it is given okay we have to find so do z by do x first of all we are going to determine so let me just take your xy and i'll get here 1 by xy for the ln okay times if i'll uh, take the chain rule so here i'll get your y okay then plus ln of xy and here i do get y of ln of xy okay so that means what i what i have got here that your y plus y ln of x y okay similarly if i uh, partially derive with respect to y i hope you can find it as your x plus or let me just write it is your x y and 1 by x y okay then your x plus x times ln of x y okay i was right so x plus x ln of x y i think it is correct okay so you will get your x times this so c is correct okay x times this is your xy plus okay xy 1 plus ln xy okay so you will get this okay similarly this one is uh, do v by do x equals to p x squared plus y squared plus 2 xy and do v by do y equals to x squared plus q y squared plus 2 xy okay so you can use it from the solution you can go to the question where p and q are constants v which is a function of x and y that satisfies the above equation is what okay so i have cross verified its its solution so let me go to the last one okay so here if i'll find the do v by do x so what i am supposed to get here as your 3x uh, p x squared okay from this term i'll get your y squared okay and from x squared y i'll get your 2xy okay similarly you can cross verify for your do v by do y 
for the last bit okay do v by do y so here you'll get your from this one you'll get your x squared plus q y squared plus 2 x y from your x y squared okay so this one is true okay so from the solution you can go to the question so this one came for the 2019 in civil okay consider two functions x equals to phi psi ln phi and y equals to phi ln psi which of the following is correct expression for your do phi by uh, do psi by 2x okay so to avoid any any kind of confusion what you will do you consider psi as your a and the phi as b so consider x equals to a ln b and y equals to b ln a okay so we are going to determine here do a by do x is what okay so see now i'll just uh, partially derive with respect to x so here i'll get your 1 and here this is your a times 1 by b and do b by do x plus ln b and your do a by do x equals to 1 again you partially derive this with respect to x so you'll get your 0 on the left hand side so i'm just keeping it as a right okay so b times 1 by a do a by do x okay then plus ln a and do b by do x equals to 0 okay so let me rewrite this because this is uh, feeling a bit messy here okay so ln b and you do a by do x and your a by b do b by do x equals to 1 okay then your a by b by a and do a by do x plus your ln b or ln a do b by do x equals to 0 now what i'll do i'll just eliminate this do b by do x in both the equations and i'll get your do a by do x immediately okay so to eliminate this i'll multiply your ln a here and here i'll uh, multiply your a by b because a by b times ln a here also a by b times ln b ln a okay and we have to subtract this one okay so let me change the ink here so i'll get your negative this one and negative and here also negative was it, it will not harm at all okay so let me just keep the negative here also okay so here you'll get your ln a ln b minus 1 a by b into b by a okay times do a by do x equals to ln a okay ln a here so you'll get your do a by do x equals to ln a by ln a ln b minus 1 okay so this is the solution okay then this one is uh, what for the differential equation uh, this one uh, du by du, dy by dx so this is an ode okay and i think in uh, discussing the ode uh, the concerned uh, faculty has already explained to you all this okay so the ode will be of the form let us say your m dx plus and dy equals to 0 okay so that means what this is a total differential of a function that means the m is taken as your do a by do x this plus do a, n is taken as your do a by do y this equals to 0 so this is the total differential that means this is re related uh, this is uh, denoted as this this is the total differential okay and the solution structure of the of the exact differential equation is that so which in implies f of x y is a constant okay this must be a solution uh, uh, the solution structure of an exact differential equation to get an exact differential equation what you will do you have to take your do m by do y which is equals to do n by do x that means what you will get do square f by do x and do y okay so that's why the condition is that do m by do y equals to do n by do x so here what you will get let me change the angle show you so f dy plus g dx equals to 0 so that means your do g by do y equals to do f by 
डो एक्स जैसे द कंडीशन ओके डो जी बाई डो वाई इक्वल्स टू डो ए बाई डो एक्स जैसे द कंडीशन ओके देन दिस वन सो यू हैव टू द पर्सनल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दैट कैन बी फॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम द जेड इक्वल्स टू ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस ए बी हैज द फॉर्म पर पी इक्वल्स टू डो जेड बाई डो एक्स एंड क्यू इक्वल्स टू डो जेड बाई डो वाई ओके इमीडिएटली सो यू हैव टू एबिटरी कॉन्स्टेंट्स लेट्स गो फॉर द फर्स्ट पर्सनल विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स ओके डो जेड बाई डो एक्स इज वट ए ओके एंड डो जेड बाई डो वाई इक्वल्स टू ओके लेट मी कंसिडर दिस एज योर पी ओके एंड वट यूल गेट दिस एज बी इक्वल्स टू डेट एस ए क्यू ओके दैट मीन्स ए इज टेक ए इज फाउंड एज पी एंड बी इज फाउंड एज क्यू सो द पर्सनल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विच इज विच कैन बी फॉर्म फ्रॉम दिस द प्लेन आई से एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस ए बी ओके सो दिस इज योर पी इन प्लेस ऑफ ए आई सब्सिट्यूट योर पी एक्स प्लस क्यू वाई प्लस पी क्यू ओके सो दैट मीन्स सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके सो नाउ सी इफ योर एबरेटरी कॉन्स्टेंट्स आर मल्टीप्लाइड और दैट इज मल्टीप्लाइड विद द वेरिएबल्स वी हैव यू विल गेट अ नॉन लिनियर पी डी ओके इफ दे विल बी सेपरेटेड और दे आर फ्री देन यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट अ लीनियर पी डी ओके सो आई थिंक वी आर डन विद पी वाई क्यूज ऑफ यूर पर्सनल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन यू कैन सॉल्व एज मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स यू कैन फाइंड एंड आस्क इन द टेलीग्राम इफ यू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ डाउट or you can post your comments in the youtube videos or whatever it will be premiered okay and thank you all and signing off uh, from my side and wish you all the luck for the next gate and gate 2022 okay